who am I? <laughs> How dare you not know a bunch of Canadian kid shows that very few people have seen? Some of them I'm really proud of, though. I play this barbarian child named Fangbone. Come, Bill! Son of Mom of Bill. I played Luke Stanley on the Stanley Dynamic. And all his alter egos. That was a hybrid of a live-action sitcom and a cartoon. So I had to be on set all the time playing this cartoon character and doing all the blocking and learning all my lines and all that stuff. And they would just cut me out in post. You can do it. You'll pull through. Over, under, tie that shoe. Go life skills. One of my first leads was as Yuki Mizusawa in Beyblade Metal Fury. I was the lead bad guy, Huxley Plunderman, in DNA, a role for which I was nominated for an Actra Award. As a teenager, there was a show called The Future is Wild, and I was very lucky to get to play this guy in it when I had no idea what the hell I was doing. I was in 50 episodes of this incredible stop-motion show called Norman Picklestripes, in a bunch of episodes of George of the Jungle. I wrote, produced, and performed all these weird songs for Super Planet Dolan, and I'm most of the voices in those. I also got to write, produce, and perform a bunch of songs for Treehouse Tune Bops. I was supposed to be a lead in this show, but I was uh, too busy with Stanley Dynamic. Just look at that full list. There's all kinds of stuff. I've got a guest spot on Blues Clues and You coming up. Here I am in Total Drama Rama. The winningest boy of all time. So you're good at stuff? Yes! So much so that I stored myself in this time capsule in hopes that the future might finally provide me a worthy challenger. You should try and take on Courtney. <laughs> what? A girl. <laughs> and there's more in the works, like a PBS show I can't really talk about. And I wrote the theme song for Fangbone and a bunch of shows in development. And uh, in fact, I mainly consider myself a, a musician. Also, when I co-owned a professional recording studio before a bunch of real estate nonsense stole that away from me last year, I ran a ton of voice acting workshops for hundreds of aspiring voice actors. And my students have gotten all kinds of work, including shows like Paw Patrol. And yes, I know I'm not Tom Kenny. <laughs> Or, or Rob Paulson. Nerf! But I, you know, I, I have my little niche. Other countries put emphasis on shows that are made in their country, you know? So that's why a lot of these Canadian shows you haven't heard of. And a lot of Canadian shows can't get a huge audience because, you know, it's a tenth of the population up here compared to the U.S. And there's a lot of other complicated factors, which I think would have to be another video. Still, a lot of huge kids and preschool shows happen here. In fact, one time I was almost cast as the new voice of Snoopy.